Hey, before I start this video, I want to say rest in peace to my dog, Equity, man. You know, he used to buy beats for me way back in the day. I'm talking about 2014, 2013 type shit, bro, back when I was working with Pooey. So I definitely want to send my condolences to his family, to his friends, to all his loved ones. You hear me? Rest in peace, bro. Hey, since I'm making commentary videos now and shit, I might as well make a video telling y'all how I started producing and and just some of my favorite records I didn't produce and some of my favorite artists I didn't work with over the years. Now look, this shit all start way back in 06, bro, when I was like 12, 13. My dog LB, my nigga LB, man, he put me onto this product called Fruity Loops, bro. Back then it was called Fruity Loops. And I ain't know what it was, I ain't know, I ain't know nothing, bro. I just went over his house and I seen him fucking with it one day and working with it and that nigga was making beats, man. And LB, if you watching this video, you know that you know this shit true. This ain't even no cap. Like I wish I could cap about shit like that. Nah, this ain't even cap. My nigga was working on beats and shit, bro. And me being the fucking follower I was at the time, you remember? I was I started doing the same shit, bro. I asked him how he downloaded and shit. I asked him like, what, what you know, how how you get it, you know, how I get a feel for this, how I do that, how I do this. And he put me on game with everything, man. That's why I always show my nigga LB love, man. He put me on with everything, FL. And then I took it and just got better year after year after year. I never stopped using that shit, bro. Now let's fast forward to 2008 when I got locked up and shit, man. That was a situation where where I realized, like, bro, I do not want to. I do not want to be in here with nothing but niggas. I don't want to be in here following motherfuckers' rules and being told what to do and shit. And plus, my DJO had already like had a talk with me and was like, "If you keep coming back here, you already know how this gonna end, bro. It's not gonna end good for you, bro." Like he already knew I wasn't built for that shit, bro. I swear to God, I wasn't built for that jail shit, that juvenile shit. None of that shit wasn't built for it, you hear me? But look, after I got out of that situation and I got home, bro, I was in grind mode, bro. Like, I was flat out in grind mode. I had left all the bullshit I was doing alone, bro. Like, the little shit I was doing to get locked up, I had left it alone. I started staying in the house, bro, and working with FL every single day. And when I say every day, bro, niggas can even ask Glow, bro. I'm talking every single day, bro. Eventually, around 09, I started passing out beats and shit at school, bro. Like, I straight remember this shit. I was making little weak ass beats. Like, my beat still wasn't raw or nothing yet. But look, I was making beats and printing them, like, burning them on the CDs, like the blank CDs and shit. I straight remember doing this. I would burn them onto uh, the little CDs. I'd make like 15 of them motherfuckers. Now I'd take them to school, bruh, and pass them out, bruh, and let motherfuckers hear them on the little computers and shit in computer class, all that, bruh. If any nigga rap, any nigga went to the vet, they'll tell you, yeah, that nigga Lance, he was passing out little beat CDs. Them shits was weak as fuck, but that little nigga was working. They gonna tell you that for sure. Now let's go ahead, fast forward 2010, 2011. 2010 I started my YouTube channel I believe and I believe that same year I don't think it was the same year I think it was that year after I put out my first little tight beat it was a weak ass Mac Miller type beat and nigga that's th that shit still on my channel to this day that shit whack as fuck hey and I'm low-key one of the pioneers of this YouTube tight beat shit you hear me but motherfuckers will never give me that credit though anyway back to the story I throw out my first few tight beats and shit they start doing you know, whatever, you know, little bitty numbers. And then I keep going, I keep going and shit. And I start putting out different type beats, like, you know, Wiz type beats and shit, Chief Keith type beats, Lil Reese type beats, all that shit. And anyway, bro, I get hit up by uh by this dude named S. Braddy, bro. And that's a um that's a rapper that used to work with Puya, man. That's a rapper that's um I don't know if he's from Florida or not, or if he moved there, but Anyway, we got the working and shit. I got to sending him beats, bro. He got the asking for beats and shit. The beats that I sent him ended up being on Warbucks, and that's the shit he did with Puya. So that was really like my first placement. That was my first like, okay, now nah, I'm I didn't work with some niggas that like that's actually getting views and shit. That was my first time ever doing that. So big shouts out to both of them. Big shouts out to Braddy and Puya, man. Next, I start trying to work with my boy Cam Meekins. Hella tough. You can ask him. 
I was reaching out to my boy hella tough. I was trying to work with Cam. Of course, I was a, a Cam Meekins fan. I was a fan of Mac Miller. I was a fan of uh, Kid Era, all that, all that shit. All like the, uh, I don't know if it's called frat rap or like, I don't know, bro. I was just a fan of all that little shit back then, bro. So I reached out to Cam. He eventually uh, like answered my email, bro. And, he, he like fucked with the little beat I had sent him that was attached and like he made a song to it called Every Day. And then that was my second little placement. That was my second time, you know, getting a little, my little foot in the industry and shit. After that, man, I started noticing people commenting on my uh, a old ass drill like type beat video. Niggas was like, hey, hey, Lil Herb just rapped on your beat, bro. Lil Herb got on your beat, Lil Herb got on your beat. I was like, what the, the fuck? Cause for real, for real, at the time, y'all, I didn't know who Lil Herb was. I didn't know who, this was before he was G Herbo. This was before he was big. This was before he was famous. This was before all that shit, you know? This was mixtape era shit. And I had, I had came to realize that he, that nigga really did hop on one of my beats, man. That nigga hopped on a, um, a feature for another artist. I forgot his name, bro. I wish I could remember his name. If I can, I'll put that shit in the video. Like I'll throw a little, a little something in the video. But anyway, that was my third little like place. I was like, okay, you know, I was like, all right. At that nigga, look, I put that shit on my um, production credits list. And then after that, 2014, 2015 era, I started reaching out to an artist named Mia Gladstone, man. That was my first time ever really reaching out to a singer or a vocalist. You know, that was just, that was like something new for me. So that was fun. I heard her voice on Twitter. Like it was on a random Twitter video. I heard her shit. And I was like, bro, I gotta work with her shit. Her shit hard. Her shit still hard to this day. So shouts out to her, man. And and really, man, I want to shout out to every artist I done worked with, bro. Every artist that didn't let me send beats to them and use my shit. From the artists here in St. Louis, like Lil Bottom and them, like like everybody, bro. Everybody that didn't that didn't fuck with my beats, man. From Trent Hooligan, everybody. I just appreciate everything y'all didn't y'all didn't did for me, especially letting me uh letting me work with y'all and send beats and shit and collaborate. Anyway, this video running long as fuck, man. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep this shit up, man. For real. Like y'all got my word on that. I'm gonna keep making hard shit. Wow, wow. Y'all keep y'all head about that one. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Shouts out to them HL gang members, man. Shouts out to my nigga Goldie and my nigga AC for helping me get this gameplay footage and shit. Now I'm out. Down the spice, I swipe a street sign. High speed wrapped up the Nissan. Come shop with me, then do it in mobile. Two five and get you three five. Call Draco Mini Me, cause next to me that bitch in knee high. Still five bands in my Nike and joke. But boy still rockin' Levi. Don't let shit slide, we open fire. Lurked up till we see street lights. Got enough shot stuffed in this art to have buck outs for three nights. Little bitch, I'm Joe Nigel. I got my aim up shooting at peons. We make your name a street sign. Get your ass chased out your feline. HL gang, bitch.